We're going to be interested in when two figures are the same shape. And the easiest way to see that two figures are the same shape is if they're the same shape and also the same size. If two figures are the same shape and the same size, we call them congruent. Now when we have two congruent figures, what does that actually mean? Well, it means that if we have congruent figures, we can move one on top of the other and they match perfectly. Now we can do all sorts of movements. So here's a figure. One of the ways that we could move this figure is to translate it, to just slide it without twisting at all. We saw that movement before when we were talking about the parallel lines. Another thing that we can do is to turn or rotate the figure. Right, so here it helps if I color the squares, right? This square goes to this square goes to this square. So we can take the we can take our shape and we can turn it. We can also flip the shape or reflect it. That last one's a little bit tricky to get your head around sometimes because when you flip over a piece of paper you can't see what's drawn on it anymore. But remember that a plane doesn't have a front and a back. Right? If you flip a plane over you just see the same thing but from the other side. So in this picture all of these shapes are congruent. And it's easy to see that they are because they're drawn on a grid. In general, we can tell whether shapes are congruent by measuring them. We know that two shapes are congruent if all their sides are the same length and all the angles between the sides are the same. Now the cool thing is that this works both ways. If we know that two shapes are congruent, then all the sides are the same length and all the angles are the same. That's really useful because it gives us a way to know that all of the sides are the same length and all the angles are the same. If we can come up with some way to be sure that shapes are congruent.